this is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Please do feel free, come into the comments, say hi, and let me know where you're tuning in from, especially if you're new. I do circle back around in the evenings. Yeah, that's when I come in to the comments and um, say hello and I um, get to know all of you. So don't be shy. All right. I am pulling from Gateway of Light Activation. This is the closing out of Lion's Gate um, portal. So I'm still kind of working with that energy. Oh, someone else got this. Higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love. Your heart is healed. This card came through earlier in, um, in this series. So closer to the beginning of the month. Um, it was a beautiful message. So let me read it to you. Your message is... Oh, my goodness. Capricorn, listen. You have experienced much fear, separation, and heartache in your lifetime. This has encouraged you to close off and shield yourself from possible hurt. For a long time, you've been trying to open yourself back up, but have been concerned about being far too vulnerable. This card shows you have realized that love isn't something you have to work for or search for but your divine inheritance. You have also recognized that this energy isn't something that comes through relationships or external experiences, but is your natural state of being. The more you close off, the more you close off from your true self. The more you drop your shields, the more love is revealed. The more you express the love you are, the more it is reflected back to you. Love is your truth. Kind of perfect for our purposes here, right? It's about dropping your shields. Um, yeah. And heart healing and realizing that sometimes um, the search for the, you know, the love we desire isn't an outside externalized search. It's about reclaiming the love within and I know it sort of sounds hokey and some of us are really tired of you know of the whole self-love thing it, it gets old because maybe we need new new words new descriptions new paradigms around it I don't know That is true. So what I'm gonna do is pull my Twin Flame Soulmate Spread. I will give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Um, the overall energy between you and your beloved here, we're looking at the Queen of Cups. And as an energy, she is compassion. She is the higher heart. She is empathy and love personified. She is self-love. So I love seeing this. Ugh. Yeah, that's beautiful. She's Cancerian energy, which is um, fourth house themes of, of nurturance of the home and hearth, it's mother energy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So the first cards here are what you're working on, you know, where you're showing up right now as far as this, con how you're showing up basically in this connection. This um, card here for you, this is you, this is them. Now it can come through reversed. 
uh, your karmic challenge. This card represents your opportunity and this card is divine guidance. So it's interesting because the Capricornian card comes through right here. The devil um, is associated with the sign of Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn. So even though it looks very foreboding, sometimes devil energy is just talking about, um, you know, feeling some limitations and restrictions and um, right, we're in a phase of um, limit of um, sh you know, restructuring things and we're not feeling safe to color outside the lines so the devil isn't always anything foreboding but it can be shadow we can be in in some measure of um, feeling some dark energies working with some dark energies maybe there could be some something here where we're looking on we're looking at the darker side of the situation the glass half empty instead of half full so that's where you may be at at this time your person now oh uh, the ace of pentacles um both of these cards by the way strong earth energy but the ace of pentacles is a new beginning it is about the aces are gifts from spirit so the ace of pentacles is the opportunity being handed you can see it as a blessing if it's not received it you know nothing you, you, you know if you don't get it if you don't take it there's no benefit um, and it just sort of feels to me like you're both on the verge of something uh, but it's it's the perspective it's the way you may be approaching it or not so for you in the karmic challenge, another ace, another gift from spirit. There's something trying to find its way into your awareness, um, a new way of looking at something, an epiphany, an, an aha moment, some insight, some truth that's trying to find its way. And maybe you're just not seeing it. Because if you look at that, right, we've got the dove, we've got the darker view right lightness versus shadow so i'm seeing that something's trying to come through your unconscious awareness and you're struggling with it like you're battling that right now and remember the graphics are just graphics there ain't nothing wrong with you there's this is a human experience of like ugh, my karmic challenge is this, like, I'm not seeing it. I'm not, I'm not getting clear on this. I, there's something that's trying to get through, but I'm, I'm still going through two old patterns, two old ways of seeing things through limiting beliefs and things that have been imprinted upon me. It is not your fault. It's just the way things go sometimes. That's why we're here. Okay, and now your person's karmic challenge is they're struggling to receive all the good too, to receive this energy of this gift, this um, new beginning that could be their happily ever after, that's joyful and right, that, that, that points to everything they probably all, always wanted. So you're both in this same space. A little bit different, but there's the same space. The opportunity, King of Wands. And the energy of the King of Wands is, uh, it's right there and I'm not going to hesitate. I see it, I want it, I claim it, it's mine. There is gusto there, there is bim and vigor, there is nothing's going to stop me from grabbing what's being handed to me. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I see it so clearly, this shit isn't going to stop me, no. I see it so I see it so clearly this happiness is right in my hand it's being gifted to me am I going to stop myself from taking that opportunity hell no so you see you're both there's very mirrored energy is what I would like to say even though the graphics of the cards are very different the messages are very similar and the, the divine guidance is there are a lot of ways we can get here. There's a little bit of confusion, maybe some emotional overwhelm, but there are plenty of options. The seven of cups points to options, but it can also point to illusions and delusions. So we want to be aware of that. Queen of 
Queen of Cups. Tower, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. So now I understand why you're both in this interesting energy of something's being put right in front of you and you're both kind of like, I don't know. Either you can't see it or you're not receiving it. It's hard to stay in an energy of compassion when the ground is maybe shaking and quaking beneath your feet, especially with this beautiful soul connection. Past life soulmate, six of cups, something that felt so comfortable for so long or so you felt so much at ease with each other and it's being tested, right? Like the mother with the children and like one too many dips in the cookie jar and and she yells and she scolds and she puts you in your room, right? There's punishment and it tests the boundaries of the unconditional love. So we don't know. What's this gonna do? What's, how's it gonna happen? What's gonna happen? So that's the, I'm giving you like the, the metaphor um, here in this connection. And underneath is an ace of wands. And that's the gift to this connection is spirit saying, revive it. It's not the end of the world, revive it. Right, because in this storyline, the mother comes in with a hug. The mother comes in later and says, right, there are lessons here. This is all like, Sat this is Saturn rules Capricorn. There are lessons here, right? There are rules for a reason. And then there are times where we can, you know, have that cookie and we all understand the boundaries and we understand the rules and there are times. I'm giving you this as an example, guys, just so you understand. I'm seeing a storyline coming through here. That's why I'm going to this example because of what's coming through here. So you can go back and you can say, oh yeah, I remember those days and it was very traumatizing, but I lived through it and it, it didn't make me, well, some of us lived through it, but what I'm saying here is spirits coming in to this connection with this ace saying, and now you can revive it. The divine gift of inspired passion to kind of rise up within you and to kind of come through whatever shook you at your core was meant to get your attention. And to get you to see something that's available to you and to determine if you want it bad enough. So for you, my beauties, the devil. King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, right? Magician. So what's happening for you now, and remember it can come through reversed, especially if you're a cross watcher. Yeah, so what's happening here is you're approaching this front like uh, I thought this was like was like this person had captured my heart. I thought they loved me, and now I'm like I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I don't know what the heck I'm manifesting here. I I don't know that that's going in the direction that I thought it was going. So there's this two of pentacles on the fence feeling sort of torn unsure of what it is like maybe my maybe my like manifestation game isn't working so well very much on the fence you know and that devil energy it, it isn't just you know sort of that part of you that's feeling like almost a little punished here, but also looking at this King of Cups with some side eye. Like, what's your game? And Ace of Pentacles for your person. Right, so like if you're the cross watcher and you're identifying with this side, that could be your Capricorn in essence. <coughs> so we get the... <laughs> We 
get the sandwich of the Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant in between. There's a potential of an about an offer of commitment here and your person just stuck. An up leveling of the connection is where they're at right now. That's what what's happening here. Taking things to the next level um, and they're stuck. They're overthinking it. They may be, they may have some doubts about it. Un, unsure at the very least. There may be people chirping in, you know, talking at them. This person is considering either up leveling or, or, or some kind of offer. There are a crap ton of tarot readers out there that would say this is the engagement ring sequence proposal. I don't like to play that kind of tarot. <laughs> that feels Ouija boardish to me. But the Eight of Swords is like, you know, are you sure that's what you want to do? Are you sure that's what you want to do? Things going around like self doubt. I don't know. Maybe. Eh. So I just like to look at it as. Regardless of whether it's an offer, you know, like, may I have your hand in marriage kind of a thing is this person is seriously considering an up leveling of this connection, making, taking it to the next level, something more committed, leading to something um, that feels more like, you know, marriage and and something yeah you get it their karmic challenge is is that what would make them happy all right now i got it because the, the eight of swords just that made sense Okay, so back to you now with your karmic challenge is this Ace of Swords. There's some information trying to find its way in, some clarity or truth. The death card, Three of Wands, Two of Wands. Something coming toward you. Oh. It's like you're anticipating the worst, right? Three of Wands and the Death card anticipating the worst, but your karmic challenge is in is in is in seeing things for what they are, instead of anticipating something, because underneath is the Two of Wands, which is there's a different path, there's a different scenario playing out and i'm seeing it over here and i don't think you're seeing it you're seeing something from a darker perspective and there's a lighter perspective on the wings of a dove trying to get into you but you're seeing things from the shadow and that is your karmic challenge whoever you are that is your karmic challenge okay so your mission if you choose to accept it is to understand that there are two ways of looking at things and uh, we've spent enough time in Shadowland and now there is another um, perspective trying to find its way to you that there's another path that may be opening up to you. So let's see your person's karmic challenge and that path that's opening up to you, Ace of Pentacles, Hierophant. And you may be the key to unlock this Eight of Swords for your person, just saying. So let's look at this Ten of Cups karmic challenge for this person. There's the devil. 
this person very well may just be the Capricorn. It could just be that simple. Sometimes the cigar is just a cigar. There's our Seven of Cups and the Chariot. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it's mirrored energy, which I, I kind of think is brilliant for this reading. Um, yeah, the, the devil telling that you know, this person is being you know, in their karmic challenge. They say the same, that I can't have nice things. I can't have happily ever after. It's just that, right? All this, this is someone who can get easily confused and a little overwhelmed and maybe even a little situationally down on themselves. Right? And then those walls start to close in. That's what happens with this energy. That shadow makes our you know, brings more limitation, more restriction. Um, and underneath is a chariot. And the chariot to me is the bust out of jail free card. It's, it's, it's the Thelma and Louising it card. It is triumph and victory. And so that's, that's the key to the Eight of Swords and the Devil here. And I feel like this person's karmic challenge is to sort of work through their seven cups of crazy here, right? Just take it one freaking cup at a time. Just move through like, all right, like, uh, I, I don't know what to do and I'm stuck in a, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so stuck and I'm, you know, I've got all these self-limiting beliefs. Well, here are the self-limiting beliefs. This card is ego, wants to keep us small, all of us. And you both kind of share this energy a little bit. And, and so the seven cups are crazy to me is like, I'm just gonna eat this elephant one bite at a time. And underneath this chariot, revving his engines, like I'm ready, I'm ready when you are. So that's this person's, karmic challenge is to just kind of take their own self-limiting beliefs and their own small ego that you know doesn't want them to uh, to grow because when we grow and when we reach for that happiness we risk getting hurt right that's what that's what the fear that's what it's about that's the fear if i put my heart out on the line if I ask for this person's hand in marriage, this person could say no. I would be devastated. Or this person could say yes and we could go through the whole ceremony and then we could, like, it could end in, in devastation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... We don't stop living life because we fear getting hurt. That's not the way life is meant to be lived. So what I'm seeing here are two people. We got a king of cups and a queen of cups. We have so much love here. But we also have like some highs and lows. And then we have all this shit that's getting in the way. But there's always another path to take. If you're anticipating the worst, then it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy and you're going to get the worst. I got news for you. So let's see your opportunity, King of Wands. Love and passion, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. If you want the love and the passion, you get the love and the passion. Just take it one step at a time. Move slowly, move intentionally with purpose. And everything will come full circle. I just had the same message for Sagittarius, right? The, the, this is Saturn. This is like the ruler of the devil. The ruler of Capricorn is Saturn. Lessons learned. Good job. Now you may pass go and collect $200. That's the opportunity. If you want it, claim it. 
and keep an open heart for it. And then move forward methodically, deliberately with intention and, you know, maybe a little cautiously. That won't hurt. Oh, I love this reading. Seven of Cups is your divine message, your divine guidance. Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. All right, so this is the thing. There has to be, the guidance is about what it is you're protecting yourself from. And in the Seven of Cups, there's sevens in tarot bring a little stroke of luck. There's lucky number seven, right? So as you're processing all the potential options and you're kind of trying to bypass the ish, okay? Uh, the Knight of Wands has um, a tendency in the ish part of the program to kind of have an in and out, right? A in and out because they're not always beginning with the end in mind. They're acting in the moment on impulse, unlike our Knight of Pentacles, who begins with the end in mind, so knows where they're going and is prepared for the, the full ride, okay? So if you're, if you're guarding against anything, you want to guard against the hot, the running hot, like acting in the moment on impulse and passion only. And you also want to guard against, right, the, 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 um, the escape artist, right? The, the person who's creating an escape plan and, and and it can be you it can be it can be them it, you got to kind of the seven of of swords to me is the avoidant personality it's the one who you know i'm in i'm riding hot and then i'm out i'm taking i'm getting my needs met in the moment and i'm getting out because you're moving through these options your divine guidance is are you're trying to process if this is like the real deal if this is something that you can you know be with for long term they're processing it you're processing it you're processing it from shadow which is not always the ideal some light and truth is trying to find its way in and you're anticipating the worst so that's something you got to work on um and this person has also got their seven of cups of crazy to deal with but I feel like the divine guidance is, you know, you don't want to run away too fast and you don't want to be open to uh, the impulse by, all right? So your divine guidance is really pointing you toward how to process, how to work through all the potential uh, pitfalls in a way that helps you navigate between uh, the light and dark of it all. That's for you at least. Okay. So that's what I've got. Oh, this is going long too. This has happened in the last several readings. The, the messages have been thorough though. And that's, what's most important is that you get a full message. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an extended for this person and I want to focus on the higher vibration, lower vibration for this person. What I mean by that is how, how you can identify it. So you know what it looks like, sounds like, walks and talks and like, so that it helps you um, be better able to manage your response, okay? And um, also hidden energy, something they don't want you to know about, but it could be very helpful and also what they do want you to know. And then we'll, and some other energies that I will explore in the extended, the links to that are below. I said plural because there are a couple different options for you to get the extendeds. Check it out before you click buy. And then um, also before I do the astrology here, um, if you enjoy my readings, if you find them helpful, if they validate your experience or are confirmational, or you feel like, oh my God, how did she know this thing? and you have not yet done so, please subscribe, please subscribe below. So many things have changed in the algorithms lately and some of us are like nose deep and sinking fast and I save this request to the end so that 
you know I am earning this request for a subscription. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe, so please do if you have not already. Subscribe, like, share if you feel called to do so. I'm doing my work here. This is my job. This is what I do for a living, and it's not just a little hobby. It's for reals, so thank you in advance. Here we go. I have got the Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The tower is um, Mars, which rules Aries. We've got uh, the devil is out twice. That is Capricornian energy ruled by Saturn. We have uh, Scorpio in that King of Cups. Magician is Mercury rules Virgo and Gemini. We've got the Hierophant is Taurus. Death card, more Scorpio. Chariot is Cancerian energy. Love me some King of Wands. That's Leo. Oh, that Queen of Cups was out twice, by the way. I forgot that. Cancerian energy twice. Oof. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is Virgo. The World card is um, Saturn, right? Capricorn and Aquarius. And then we have the Knight of Wands is um, Sagittarius. So that's what I have higher heart activation for sure that queen of cups and i will see you in the extended i'll be there in a sec bye for now